So the one good thing about gas cars is you don't need to really worry about maximizing your miles. Well, maybe now you do because the gas prices are super high, but overall it's as easy as pulling into a dirty gas station and adding more dyno fuel. However, if you have an electric car, you have to plan it out a little more, so the name of the game is maximizing range. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about seven ways you can maximize the range in your Tesla. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris, and welcome back to my channel, the number one place for Tesla, tech, and everyday life. If you wanna check out my new series, Quick Tips with Chris, click on the link for quick short videos on the important stuff. Now EV cars and gas cars are similar in many aspects, but also different in a few when it comes to range. There's the most obvious one, like don't drive at high speeds with your windows down, and the less obvious ones, which I'll talk about later. But before we move on, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Now real quick, let me talk to you about our sponsor, iTrust Capital, the number one place for cryptocurrency trading. Cryptocurrency is one of those things that everyone is talking about these days. There's all kinds of different exchanges to trade crypto on, but what people don't realize is how much they're losing in taxes and fees. With iTrust Capital, you can actually invest in crypto without worrying about any taxes or fees, and it allows their clients to invest in crypto through an individual retirement account or IRA. The best part is it's totally free to open an account and there are no hidden fees. You don't need to pay any monthly subscription or any of that nonsense. As a special tip for my viewers, if you open and fund an account, you'll get a $100 funding bonus added to your account. $100 for free, that's crazy. To learn more, make sure you guys click on the link in the description and open a free account. Number one, let's talk about wheel and tires. The bigger the rims, the less efficient the car, the less miles you'll get from your Tesla. Yes, the bigger rims look sexy and I myself love it. However, they did design their aero wheels for the most efficient and maximum range possible. Their rims are also made to be super flush with the tire to be as aerodynamic as possible. For me, I had to change my Gemini wheels and get something nicer, so I did stay with the 19 inch wheels, but I did get aftermarket rims. I haven't seen that much hit on range, but it is a little bit more noticeable on super long road trips. Adding to that is the tire pressure. Just like gas cars, if your tires are underinflated, it can increase resistance, which decreases range. Keep it at the recommended tire pressure or slightly higher as the tire pressure does decrease in cold weather. Second, speaking of cold weather, another huge factor that decreases range is cold weather. Like we went to Mammoth and initially the car predicted we would get to our destination no problem. However, as the weather got colder and colder, the range decreased significantly and then it informed us we wouldn't make it to the destination unless we charged earlier. However, as the temperature did increase again as we passed the mountain, the range did go back up so we were able to make it to the original destination without having to stop extra. But make sure you keep that in mind if you do live or go in colder climates as you'll need to probably charge a little bit more and you won't get that full estimated 330 miles. Other things related to weather is wind. I've been on trips where I can make it on one charge. However, on the opposite way, I would most likely have to charge at least once or twice. This is likely due to elevation and headwinds. And no, I do not recommend cruising behind a huge big rig to save miles as that's just not worth it for the rock chips and for safety. Also, more uphill driving means more energy consumed. There's nothing you can really do about that aside from looking at the predicted range while you're on a trip that shows you where on the trip you're gonna lose range and where you will most likely gain range, which is a pretty awesome feature. Third, just like gas cars, rolling your windows down to vibe out is great and all, but it does create a ton of drag. Also go on a diet because the more weight you have, the harder the car has to work. I'm just kidding. But if you do have any bricks or unnecessary stuff in your Tesla, take it out to maximize your range. Fourth, another huge factor that can wreck your miles and decrease your range is how you drive. If you wanna have the max amount of range, Go to your settings now and set your car to chill mode. So when you press the accelerator, the car gradually accelerates and put your stopping mode to hold so that the car can use its regenerative braking to the maximum capabilities, even at lower speeds. On top of this, don't smash the accelerator and stop and go traffic and try to use autopilot whenever you can as it does a great job at being efficient. Fifth is your climate control. One of the big range reducers in electric vehicles is the heater. Blasting the heater in cold weather reduces more miles than blasting the AC, however. So one way to help yourself if you are in cold conditions is to precondition the car while the car is charging. Also use the heated steering wheel and the heated seats as it doesn't affect the range as much as turning the heater on and using the heat pump. The cool thing is you can control all of these features and preconditioning and all that good stuff through your app 
and through the Tesla screen. However, speaking of apps, if your car is parked and you're trying to maximize the amount of battery, make sure you don't check the app all the time because it does force the car to wake up and it also drains the battery quicker. Now the sixth reason for battery drain are things like sentry mode and cabin overheat protection. With sentry mode, it's an amazing feature to have and it's Tesla's parking dash cam. Honestly, it works great and I always leave it on for daily drives and normal driving. However, if you are in a place where you need to make sure you're careful about how much battery loss you have, make sure you turn this feature off because if it detects a lot of motion, it can record all that footage and you could see a crazy amount of battery decrease like 20% battery in one hour or even less. And cabin overheat protection can turn on the AC to cool the car so it doesn't get too hot inside, but again, it does drain the battery. And lastly, the seventh reason that can decrease your range is your charging habits. Supercharging at a Tesla puts more wear and tear on the batteries. However, I do have a friend who did supercharge his car for a year without any battery degradation. So don't worry too much about that. Also for daily charging, you wanna charge your car to around 70 to 80%. And when you do charge to 100%, you wanna make sure the car isn't idle sitting in the garage for an extended period of time. And of course, don't let your car battery get too low. They always wanna say around 20% battery. Don't get it dangerously low unless you really need to. Now, these apply to the long range and performance Tesla batteries, not the made in China LFP batteries, which they do recommend charging to 100%. Anyways, hope those tips help you maximize the range in your Tesla. Overall, don't overthink it because Tesla does so well with their charging navigation and there are superchargers everywhere. It's not stressful at all once you get the hang of it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.